All right, guys, are you ready? Let's warm up America again. All right, guys, I'm super excited. We're about to kick off our next Warm Up America campaign, helping a charity that really needs our help. And this is gonna be so much fun. If you are brand new to my channel and you have never heard of Warm Up America or the Warm Up America Foundation before, let me give you a little information. So twice a year, my channel, will help out the Warm Up America Foundation. And what they are is they're like an umbrella foundation that helps multiple smaller charities here throughout the United States that need help. So if a small charity really needs help getting donations, they can reach out to the Warm Up America Foundation and the Warm Up America Foundation will do a blast shout out to everybody that checks out their Facebook or checks out their website and says, hey, this charity needs our help. and it gets a whole lot of like spot, a big spotlight put on that charity so a bunch of people can help them out. And all of these things are knit or crochet related, which is right up our alley and so much fun. So if you're looking for a, a purpose, like you just, you just need a purpose and you love to crochet, check out the charities in the Warm Up America Foundation by going to www.warmupamerica.org and you'll see all of their needs, all of their different charities. And what I love about this foundation is if you really love to make beanies, there's a charity that needs beanies. If you love to make scarves, there's a charity that needs scarves. If you love to make blankets, there are many charities that need blankets, whether it's baby blankets or adult blankets. So it's what, Whatever you really enjoy making, there is a need and just having a purpose and really a direction is so incredibly awesome. And that's what I love most about this foundation is when I wanted to help a charity, when I really wanted to just help give back, I was like, well, I don't want to just make something random and hope somebody wants it. Like here I made four beanies. Who wants my beanies? You know, no, this charity would be like, no, we need beanies, please make beanies. So it'd be like, I got you, I'm going to help you out. And I thought that was awesome. All right, so the Warm Up America Foundation was actually started by an incredible woman. And I have to take a second to recognize her because she is so incredibly special. Her name is Evie Rosen, and she is the founder of the Warm Up America Foundation. I mean, really, this chick was awesome. She was a great teacher. She taught people how to knit and to crochet. She ended up getting a cute little knit boutique and just selling her things, teaching her things. And just, she was kind of a founder of just everything that we do. And in the 1990s, she got her little shop and she was making things. Well, uh, it ended up becoming very apparent in the 90s that the homeless situation was becoming a big problem. And she wanted to help. She loved to help out charity. She loved to help uh, give back. But she found that no matter how many blankets she would make, no matter how much she would do, it wasn't putting a dent in the need that was out there. All How many people needed blankets, how many people needed beanies. I mean, everything she tried, she tried to crochet and knit and do just wasn't making a dent. And she's like, we've got to help this situation. But making a blanket takes too long. Making a big, huge project, it just takes too long and it's daunting, right? And it, it, it's time consuming. And when you reach out to other individuals and ask them to make a full blanket, it can be a lot. But she did find out that if she asked people to make just little seven inch by nine inch rectangular sections, whether it's seven inches wide, nine inches long, or nine inches wide, seven inches long, doesn't really matter, that that was easy. People were whipping those out like crazy, using their scraps and just kind of like, boom, 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 I can make these all day, this is nothing. And so she asked people to make these seven inch by nine inch rectangular sections, then her and a bunch of volunteers would join those sections together and together her and her community were able to meet the need that was being asked. And I thought that was incredible, that is so awesome. And that's how the Warm Up America Foundation really began, was making these rectangular sections. From there, they now do so much more. But I wanted to give respect and I wanted to really just acknowledge Evie Rosen for everything that she started and began and contributed to the crochet and knit community. It was really her involvement that developed 
and started a lot of the Craft Yarn Council and so much more. So she's very much a part of everything that we do without even knowing it. Now the charity that we are helping. When I, so twice a year, I reach out to Warm Up America and I ask them, okay, what do you have a need for? Like, how can I help? What charity really needs some lifting up, some help? And right now, our charity, our campaign that we are helping is for the veterans of the United States of America. So we're actually helping a charity that is called Soldiers Angels. So we, in an essence, are angels. <laughs> and what they are asking for are adult lap gans, adult blankets. They are accepting beanies, adult beanies, adult scarves, and adult mittens. Now, because this is a veteran campaign, they want you to use the colors red, white, blue, and camo, or any kind of military color. And you can use them all together, like red, white, and blue, or all red, all white, all blue. I mean, it's really up to you and what you want to interpret that as, but they're trying to keep all that together because the donations that we donate to the Warm Up America Foundation are going to veteran hospitals and veteran homes. So they're kind of trying to keep things themed. Okay, so this campaign actually kicks off, begins August 9th, and it will run through September 9th. Okay, so Again, if you want to donate the rectangular sections that are seven inches wide by nine inches long or nine inches wide by seven inches long, feel free to do that as well. And they'll just join those sections together and make those lap gans or make those blankets, uh, especially if it's too daunting for you to make such a large project like Evie was trying to help out with, make the smaller things and get through it. And that's all they need. They just need some help. Feel free to get donations all the way up through September 9th. Postage stamped on the 9th. If you can label your shipping package, who you ship to, the, the two, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it here on the screen. It's to Warm Up America with an exclamation point. Attention, now this is gonna be important, attention Tiffany-Veterans. That way they will count all of the donations that come in and count it towards our campaign. And then next month we will get together and find out how many donations we were able to get into their, their charity, which I think is so much fun. When you are making these items, make sure you're using yarn that is easy to wash. That's super important because we don't know when these items may get an opportunity to be laundered, and if they are laundered, it's not like they can dry clean or lay flat to dry. <laughs> it's more get it in the washing machine, get it in the dryer, and get it clean kind of thing, okay? So we're talking 100% acrylic yarns, poly, polyamide, cotton, uh, even though cotton may or may not, depending on what you're using, it may or may not be comfortable. Try to make sure it's comfortable, but yeah, let's stick, try to stick mainly with 100% acrylic if you can, just for the ease and convenience of who's receiving it to be able to wash it easy. Okay, so keep that in mind. No wools, please, no wools, no alpaca, no natural fiber, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me directly. I'll put all my contact information in the description section below this video, or go to my website, crochetwithtiffany.com, where I will have more information and the campaign ready to go. It is also super helpful if you include in your donation, this donation sheet that I will also have on my website, so it's easy to go to my website, find the sheet, I'm gonna make it as easy as possible to find, print off the sheet, that sheet will just ask, what are you including in the box? Write that down, and that helps them with their count to keep count of everything that was donated. Thank you so much for just watching this video. I really hope that you participate in this campaign because it is awesome. It's also a great way to clean out your yarn stash. They do not care if the item that you made started out in one color and then mid row somewhere, you switched the color up and changed it and then mid row, switch the color up and changed it. Use your scrap yarn. This is a great opportunity. If you have a bunch of stuff piling up, get rid of it. Just use your scrap yarn for this particular project. They welcome it. They are more than happy for you to use your scraps. <laughs> it's a great way to clean out your stash 
and get ready, especially for us to move on to all of the holiday projects that we are about to begin. So again, if you have any questions, contact me. Thank you so much. I hope you participate. Let's try to show them what all we are capable of doing, guys. I look forward to seeing you in September and giving you the count update. Bye guys.